And it's the one about lines of authority within school and the capacity of people to provide support using lines of authority. So it sounds something like this, I don't have it elegantly phrased, that teachers are more open to support from their peers than they are from their supervisors. Now I don't know the degree to which that stands as a firm foundation for you, and I think it varies school to school depending on the relationship of the administrator within a school to the teachers within a school. I want you to hold that one out there as just a possibility for you to think about. Where the help comes from influences the degree to which that help will be acted on. That's essentially the essence of that other foundational idea. If it comes from a peer, it may be perceived as more valuable. Now I'll tell you this about my experience as a teacher in a classroom, and I know this doesn't relate to any of you. When I was a relatively new teacher in a classroom, again before many of you were born, I had a principal, actually assistant principal, who was my assigned supervisor slash evaluator. And he would come to observe my classroom and always bring with him every time he did a task to complete. So we had work to do, in essence. And he came into my room, he would sit on the side or in the back, and he would complete a task. One time it was cleaning out his wallet. <laughs> Another time it was a parent memo. And I became very frustrated after that happened the third or fourth time because I didn't believe I was being given his full attention and wondered how he could criticize my teaching when I knew he wasn't fully attentive to my teaching. So I mentioned that to a colleague and my colleague said this, oh, as long as he's busy when he's in your classroom, you're going to get a good evaluation. It's when he's not busy that you should be worried. That relationship issue sometimes affects the degree to which we have opportunity for constructive feedback that allows us as professionals to learn and grow. From that principle, I began to be hopeful that he was very busy. And I also, the busier he was, made the assumption that I was doing a pretty darn good job. When I had the next school year, a principal whose behaviors were very different, because I had many things to learn as a teacher, many things, and he became critical in my eye, however, in a constructive way, I was fearful, and then I was angry, and I refuted his suggestions. I was defensive rather than open, because I believed his intent was not about support. I believed his intent was not about helping me grow and get better. So we have to look at those relationships. He, by the way, was one of the people who helped me really understand the elements of good teaching. And I learned to appreciate it, but I didn't accept it at that time. Our notion with coaching is that sometimes adding a peer to the mix and having the conversations be around how are we all teaching to support learning? How are we using curriculum? other instructional resources, technology, to advance learning for students that we can accomplish more and have it not be perceived by anyone within a system as being some kind of evaluative or supervisory task. 